to do a quick in-service on our newest Valley Lab machine, which is called the Valley Lab Force Triad. Um, looks a little scary at first, a little bigger than the current Bovi, but uh, it's pretty easy to use once you get, the, get to learn it. So we'll just cover it real quickly. Um, obviously plug the unit in, and here is your on switch on this one, right over here in the corner. It's going to go through a little self-check, which is going to take about 34 seconds or so. Um, to start up and go through all its checks. And you can see you have three different screens on here. So there's, uh, they're all touch screens. Um, this first screen is for anything that's under, it's for these two ports here. The middle screen is for a monopolar port as well and a bipolar port. And on the right side is for our bipolar ligature device. So once we have the machine turned on, <coughs> you're gonna have three separate screens here. So when you get your cautery pencil, <clears throat> you can plug it into either monopolar one port or monopolar two port. You can see there's a little diagram that depicts where the plug orientation should go. Um, it's always two pins to the right. You can plug it into that port or this port. So once you plug in the pencil, you're going to see the other two screens gray out. So the only screen that's active is now this first screen here because this is the one that's in use. So we put our settings in just like we would on a regular Bovi. Say we go to 20 and 20. You also have the opportunity to use pure cut or blended current. Some surgeons prefer to use blended current, so you can tab back and forth between pure and blend. We'll leave it on pure. And then for the coag settings, this is standard um, coag, which is called fulgurate. Otherwise, you can always go to a spray mode which is basically for a, a liver surgery or any type where you're, you're trying to coagulate a larger bleeding area, you can go to the spray mode. But typically surgeons just leave it at fulgurate, which is the standard setting. Now in this machine, your REM indicator light is right here. Um, there's one on this screen and there's actually one on this screen here, but since this screen's grayed out, you can't see it very, very well. Um, so until we get a grounding pad on the patient, the cautery's not gonna work. So if I, if I try to activate this cautery pencil, on my hand, I'm going to get no output, and you're going to get your REM indicator light showing that the, I am not grounded. So we need to put a pad on the paper. So you can use a grounding pad like this, or you can use the grounding pads that you are currently have in use with the reusable cord. So the cautery pad gets plugged in right here, or the grounding pad. And then once we put it on our patient, you'll see that light turn from red to green. And same thing on your other machines, if this pad gets peeled off during, during the case, your REM indicator alarm is going to uh, go off and it's going to cease the output from the bovie. So now that we're grounded, we could definitely do surgery with this cautery. Um, so that's screen one. So you have a monopolar one port and then you also have a uh, foot switching port for a, a foot activated cautery. So if you were to have a um, monopolar foot activated cord, you can plug that cord in right here. Um, so then on this middle screen here, once again we also have the same exact port as over here. If you plug this in it's going to automatically go to the correct screen and it's going to gray out your other two screens. Now this is your active screen. There's also a bipolar port on this middle one so if any surgeons are using bipolar you plug in your bipolar cord to this port and it will automatically go to the bipolar screen. So on the bipolar screen you can increase and decrease your power settings here. We'll say 20 watts. Um, this actually has a built-in amp meter which is over here on this on the right side. Uh, we had an old amp meter that would plug into the the force FXC's basically would give you the audible tones as you were desiccating the tissue. This has it built into this middle screen right here. You can, this is a little speaker, looks like a little speaker here. So right now you'll be able to hear the, hear the tones with the bipolar. If you hit that little speaker with the X through it, now the, the sound will go off. Um, you also have the opportunity to have low setting for bipolar, a standard setting, or a macro setting. Low is the default setting and that's typically what we recommend. The farther you go across here, the more voltage um, and the more thermal spread you will have with the, with the bipolar. So we just recommend the low setting with the bipolar. So that is that screen. And then the last screen will be for any of our ligature devices. So 
Here is a laparoscopic ligature device. Uh, this is a bipolar device that is used for um, many different types of gynecologic and general surgery. Uh, basically, you can use this to seal a vessel up to seven millimeters. Um, here's an example of a, of a device right here. You can see the cord looks like this. Um, the plug is going to be purple on one side and white on the other side, and there's a little barcode on the top of it. It's actually a little spot where your thumb can fit in right here, and the barcode goes up and can get plugged into this port or this port. And once you push it in, it's going to snap in. It's going to automatically set itself to two green bars, which is our standard power setting. Think of these as low, medium, and high. So we recommend the medium setting for most every procedure. Uh, some of the gynecologists do prefer the three green bars and they will ask for that and they will know that it, what setting they typically use. So uh, when you plug the device in, ask the surgeon if they want the two green bars or the three green bars and they will let you know what they want. Um, so that's it with the ligature. You could potentially have two ligature pl devices plugged in simultaneously. Uh, the only case I can think of where you might need that is for a laparoscopic assisted vaginal hysterectomy where you might be using a laparoscopic device on the patient above and an uh, open device maybe down below. Uh, on the right side here, this is just a brightness indicator, so you can increase and decrease the brightness if you're in a laparoscopic room and, <coughs> excuse me, and the screens are too bright, you can decrease the brightness by tapping that right there. And then the little wrench is just for all the uh, Biomed um, features, um, software upgrades, things like that, so that you should never have to use. If you are only using the ligature device, this is a bipolar device, so you will not need a grounding pad. Um, if you are using the monopolar features of the machine as well, you will definitely need a grounding pad there. So, um, so that's basically the front of the machine. The only other thing I can show you on the back, there's going to be a standard monopolar foot pedal, just like you're used to right here, uh, with cut and coag. And there's also a bipolar foot pedal right here. Um, that are plugged into the machine. And then the back here is a volume control knob.